Hey, I thought I'd put together a little video here um, about uh, structured query language and uh, installing the uh, SQL engine on Linux Mint. Uh, I happen to be working in VMware. Uh, this is the Workstation 12 player, uh, but it should work within almost any virtualization environment. Uh, I have uh, Linux Mint 17.3. We'll probably be fine with other versions of uh, an Ubuntu style Linux as well. Uh, SQL, Structured Query Language, is a standardized language uh, created by the American National Standards Institute. ANSI is an acronym you might hear. And they did this in collaboration with the International Organization for Standards. Uh, you'll often see ISO representing that. The, the uh, YISO. Well, it's the International uh, Standards Organization in uh, in the European style. So thus it got the acronym ISO. And SQL is a scripting type programming language for manipulating data in a relational database management system. It's important to know as a Linux administrator because so many Linux machines are used in uh, web server applications with a database backend. So one of the several open source software packages that implement databases for Linux uh, is MySQL. There's also Postgres, SQL Lite, uh, etc. But we're gonna we're gonna look at MySQL. And the MySQL server package is available in both the Red Hat and Debian derived distribution repositories. And MySQL also provides uh, a client application. And we'll get those going. And um, you'll be able to uh, do some of the uh, experimentation and assignments. So let's start by account elevation, sudo, go to the package management, app get, install, and what we want to install is the MySQL server space MySQL client. And the password is going to be for your account, your account, whatever you happen to be using under your system. And the package lists are being read and brought down. You're told how many megabytes of additional disk space will be used. We're going to accept that with a Y and out in the archive, all the individual piece parts are being found and downloaded. After installing the MySQL server package, which is still working on, we're gonna find out that we need to actually start the server before we can use the client. Ideally, uh, in a 
a commercial type application, the server should be configured to start automatically. That could be done by uh, putting the startup information into a dot profile file. Uh, here we have a message. While not mandatory, it's highly recommended that you set a password for the MySQL administrative root user. And if this field is left bank blank, the password will not be changed. We are not going to set a password. The reason is it just simplifies things. You don't have to remember it in the future. And we don't, we're not putting this in any kind of a commercial installation. So I am just going to tab to OK, hit Enter, and let that continue. As soon as we get back to the command prompt, we will be entering the uh, command to start the server. Okay, I'm going to say, again, I'm not going to put anything in for the root user. I don't remember how many times they ask this question, but we'll just keep tabbing and not entering a root password. And here we go, back to the command line. So we need to start the server. That is sudo for account elevation. And we're going to reference the path etsy forward slash etsy forward slash init.d that subdirectory and mysql with the parameter start. We're given the feedback that the MySQL database server uh, daemon was started. We're going to do sudo mysql. And you may or may not be asked for your accounts, uh, account elevation password, depending on how recently you've uh, elevated uh, in the past. This time I was not asked for it. So the connection ID is given, the uh, server's identified, and I am now in the client application. At this point, you should be able to um, start using the, um, the client tools, uh, explore any ex existing tables, create new tables according to the instructions in your assignment. So I hope that was clear and yet you have fun.